like to welcome everyone to our weekly chapel. Uh, whether you're in person here with us today or joining us online, uh, I just want to say a word about the importance of chapel and why is it that we gather uh, every week? Why have we set this time aside? It's so that we can come into the Lord's presence as a community of faith and corporately join our hearts in worship before the Lord. It's important for us in our own individual spiritual formation, but even much more so for those who are studying to prepare for ministry. Uh, it's a part of formation. It's a part of the seminary and the Bible college curriculum. And so it's something that we value so highly. We set aside an hour every week to do that. And this is our hour to come into the Lord's presence as a community of faith. And I'm glad that you're here and participating. We're very honored today to be led in our chapel service by the student council uh, who've put together a worship program for us. Uh, when we worship the Lord, we, we can do that in many, many different ways as uh, Dr. Mars is uh, leading our students to learn about worship. Uh, we worship the Lord when we pray and we bow before him in prayer. Uh, we worship the Lord when we yield to the reading of God's word and the instruction and teaching and preaching of God's word. We are worshiping the Lord. And when we sing to the Lord, we open our hearts and voice a song, we are worshiping the Lord. And we want to do that today in these different kinds of ways that we can bow and yield and submit our lives before Jesus Christ our Lord. So if you would allow me, I'd like to lead us in a word of prayer and then turn it over to the student council to continue leading us in worship. Thank you, Father, for this weekly privilege of gathering as a community of faith uh, to sit at your feet, to yield and submit our lives before you. Lord, we, we want to do that again afresh this day. We want to say that Jesus Christ is King and Lord of our lives. We want to express that as a community of faith. So our prayer today, Lord, is that the words of our mouths and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. whatever you guys want to do <laughs> um so um our theme for our worship service today is that jesus is exalted and that uh he's exalted from the past to the present to the future and so i just want to read to you guys how um jesus is our king from promise and so I want to read from Isaiah 9, 6 to 7. For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. There will be no end to the increase of his government or of his peace on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and righteousness for then on and forevermore the zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this please stand as we worship together
King of my heart, be the mountain where I ride, the fountain I drink from. Oh, He is my song. Let the King of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life. Oh, He is my song, and You are. Isaiah 9 told us about a child that was going to be born to us. And then we find coming later in one of the Gospels where we see Jesus being exalted at his birth. So he's exalted in his prophecy, and then he's exalted at his birth as a king. So I'd like to read from you for you from Luke 2, 8 to 14. So if you join me in reading. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news that will be of great joy, that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and laying in a manger. And, And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace be among those with whom he is well pleased. Let's continue our worship together.
It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. Great are you, Lord. And great are you, Lord. Yes, Lord, you are great and exalted, Lord, and you are resurrected. Uh, I'm going to read a passage from Philippians 2. It's the humbled and exalted Christ. Philippians 2, verses 5 through 11. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and given him the name of, which is above every other name that, the name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Let's continue to worship and exalt this resurrected Lord of ours.
worthy is your name worthy is your name jesus you deserve
sing hallelujah, we sing hallelujah, the Lamb is overcome, we sing hallelujah, we sing hallelujah, we sing hallelujah. finish off our time together um, reading about and singing how Jesus is exalted forever. Um, so I'll just be reading from Revelation 5, 11 to 14. Then I looked and I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders the voice of many angels, numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who is slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped. Please join us as we close our time together. Do you feel the world is broken? We do. Do you feel the shadow? deepen we do but do you know that all the dark won't stop the light from getting through we do do you wish that you could see it all made new we do all creation groaning it is it's a new creation coming it is it's the glory of the Lord to be the light within our midst it is is it good that we
Yes, Lord, you are exalted, you are holy, you are Lord, and we just praise you and exalt your name. Um, we just uh, acknowledge you that you are in control of all things, all storms, the storms around the world, the storms of our hearts, and um, Lord, you are sitting enthroned in our, on our praises. Um, today, that will conclude today's worship, but feel free to um, say uh, sit and just enjoy um, continuing worship the Lord. In Jesus' name, you're dismissed. <laughs>